Welcome back everyone to the Museum of Pine Ridge where today we are going to make an enchanting table. I have everything that I need right over here. And this means that we could finally have some enchantments. There we go. One enchanting table. That's all started. And now we need a place to put this thing. And of course it needs to be a place where we could fit the book. So I just can't plop it down here in the middle of all this. So what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to incorporate this into one of our exhibits. I mean, if you've got all this museum here, we might as well fit it into there. And right now my preferred location would be down here in the grotto. Because we could think of this as a magical grotto. That, that could be what I could turn this area into because if you've got grass underground there must be something magical going on here anyway so I'm gonna find a good location where I could put a little enchanting table and of course leaving room so that I could have the books with it also now this looks like a nice place for it it's a little bit of nook on the side or perhaps even here might even be better to so put in yeah, this nook right here, we could just make this a 5x5 five five area and make sure that we remove some of this dirt over here. Do have a shovel? Good. So that the surface is nice and even all the way through. Okay, good. We've got dirt underneath it. That would be perfect. So yes, we'll still have the dirt floor, or actually it'll become a grass floor in time. That's so one, two, three, four, five. Alright, good over here. And now we can put our book bookshelves over there, and that means this will go right over here. This could be our enchanting table. And we have bookshelves all the way across here. And what is back here? Let me double check to make sure this is a, a mob spawner of a sort or anything like that. No. Hmm. Let's think about something to do with that back area. I decided to go with mossy cobble back here. Because I think that'll give it a slight built look, but at the same time a little bit on the Rustic side, maybe, or something like that? I'll have to think of the right word for that later. So, we will need a little light here. I still need a little bit more a natural side on the lighting. What I'm thinking of doing is putting in some glowberry bushes. I bought some from a merchant, so... Might as well put those to use at some point. I do have four bookshelves already. So, now I just have to slowly get the rest that I need, but breeding cows or whatever means I can get in order to get the books and the bookshelves. See, how am I doing on enchantment so far? Well, I don't want to enchant the pickaxe yet. Okay, I guess I'll need to bring some lapis here. Now, since a full enchanting setup requires 15 bookshelves, and that is, of course, going to make things slightly asymmetrical. What I want to do is I am going to finish up the symmetry with a barrel and that this barrel will match up with a bookshelf right over there and this is where I'm going to be putting things like lapis and books and things like that. So now that I have some lapis let's try enchanting the sword. Now this is not going to be my first serious enchantment but Let's see what we got here. We got Smite 1, Main of Arthropods 1, and Sharpness 1. Hmm. Obviously, Sharpness 1 would be more useful in general, but since I've got that double undead spawner to worry about, let us throw that on there. Yep, yeah, that's a cheap enchantment, but we'll get a better one on time. Maybe about the same time we get a diamond sword. While this area slowly grows, I should add another area that will be 
semi-magical in its qualities and that is of course something that takes you to another dimension by another dimension of course I mean the nether so I need a nice place that could include my nether portal and I think this area will do because I would say that's going to be easily blocked off from the rest of the cave since we don't want tourists to accidentally get trapped in the nether or anything like that so we'll just have a little something that'll lead up into here now obviously this is too low so I'm gonna take some of this out and we are going to create our little nether nook I'm going to replace some of this with black stone to give it a little bit of a sinister look sort of the literal dark side of this little nook that we've got over here and it's going to be a tight squeeze for another portal so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hide the obsidian on this now easily done to hide the top and bottom parts There you have it. But then I'll also hide this area right here. For now, it looks like I'm using granite since that's what's in the area. But hmm, well, should it be granite? How would mossy cobble look in this area? Now, of course, we do have this in contrast to the that over there. And I guess on the other side, I'll have to replace that with mossy cobble also, if I am going to go with that. I may go back to my original idea of black stone at some point. But this is just to get an idea of what this will look like. But, of course, that has to be obsidian just by its nature. Now, where did I put my flint and steel? All right, found it. There we go. Oh, I suppose if I'm going to be putting in mossy cobble, I should put it here and here. And up there and there. And what's on the other side? <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun to find out. This looks too much like a corridor. I'm going to have to find some way of making this look a little bit more natural. But that'll be later. Maybe I can get some of this glow lichen also to come over here, but first I want to know what I'm going to make it out of and ex the exact shape I'm going to want. Now I do want to have some setting in of this because mobs may spawn and on the platform and do all sorts of nasty weird things coming in from the nether. So I want to have a way to block those off. But let's go and see what's on the other side. Uh, not the best place to spawn if you're not wearing gold. <laughs> so, looks like we are right next to a crimson forest. So, make sure I have some gold on when we explore that in earnest. I now have just three more of these to place. One, two, three. And now the enchanting setup is complete. That means if I put my pickaxe in here was it need Ooh, efficiency four that would be really nice to have now unfortunately I don't quite have 30 levels yet and in fact yeah all right yes yeah, of course I just don't have the lapis in there once I have that in there right I can have the second or third item in there but the one I really want of course is the efficiency four and we will have to wait until I get some levels to do that. Now, of course, I do have that mob farm down there that I'm building in there to help with that. So, progress. Also, I think I'm looking much better in here. The grass is 
getting spread out a little bit in here to make this more like what I want and here is the nether portal all nice and done lanterns in here I'm starting to replace several of the torches with jack-o-lanterns I think they will look I think we don't need this one anymore with jack-o-lanterns so I think they'll will be much better so I really don't want a jack-o-lantern face here so I'm gonna have to get rid of that one and maybe turn it on its side now I'm thinking that around here I want to change the moss now I try to remember how moss operates yes that is how it operates All right. maybe not the high grass in there but the moss being spread out Ooh. I forgot about the azalea bit yes I think that will really be nice so I want to spread out the moss a bit going through here and I think that will give me a nice better look for going on to into this section actually with all these moss carpets I have now I can even cover up the jack-o-lanterns so I won't have that odd appearance in here Good. I thought the jack lanterns would look a lot better than the torch spam, but I think even better will be the moss carpeting to help to make the whole thing look a bit on the greener side. Ah, this is much better. All of the floor torches are gone. We have a couple on the wall still, but we could look into that later. Nice entrance to the nether and I think everything is fine over here this is all ready so I think I'll call this a bit of a success may have to create more ceiling space at some point in the future but that won't be for today so what about the exploration phase of today's episode I'm afraid it's going to be into here back here in the nether and it looks like what? What happened there? Let's see, the axe I have is none breaking three axe, but it one shot him. I mean, if it had something like. Sharpness or whatever. I mean, it's not like it's a powerful weapon or anything like that, I thought, but in one sh <laughs> I must have gotten a critical without realizing that I got a critical. Alright, let's. Maybe the fact that we were near one of these things, because they don't like these flowers. Uh, I mean, these mushrooms. So maybe it was the presence of that thing. Maybe I make sure I have one of these along with me, too. Help to keep them away just in case. I have no idea if one in your hand does deter them, but it's worth trying out. Now let's see what else we've got around here. We are going east right now. Oh! Oh, what, what's attacking me? Okay, obviously holding one of these things doesn't deter them in the slightest. At least we found that out quickly. Is there any place where I can go readily? There we've got an ocean. At least I could plop this down on the ground if one of them attacks me again. What is he doing? I've got no idea. Are you gonna try some bartering? I forgot to bring the gold. I'm back with a few ingots. Let's see if he likes any of these. What do you see about that?
Oh, what did he get me? Soul sand. Ooh, that could come in handy. In fact, that may be very helpful in a mob farm because one of the tricky things in doing it is finding a way to transport the. Oh, there you go. So we you is water streams and trying to get the mobs good to go up and then go down if I want to help to kill them quickly. Yes. And leather, alright, that could be helpful at some point. Frying obsidian, not so much. So perhaps I'll get something that could be useful, though. What's going to be more useful than soul sand? I can't think of anything at the moment. Oh, what's this now? Nether bricks. Ah. Now let's make a more serious attempt at going east. Assuming I don't run into more hoglins along the way. And this is... uniquely bad area. This is a rather bad nether spawn, I think, all the way through. I'm not too sure that I'm going to be able to get anywhere. Well, let's dig through here. See if I can find anything. Well, there's gold nuggets. I'd better close this off just in case any piglins decide that they don't like me mining gold or anything like that. Ooh. And just behind the gold, oh, we've got. Well, the good news is there's quartz there. The bad news is. It's a long way down into the lava. Yeah, this is a horrible spawn point. I've noticed bad drops going in all four directions. Yeah, that's the best of them. And that's still not by any definition good. While I won't call that my best nether trip, it did at least bring me some soul sand, and that soul sand is going to be useful. So I'm not going to call that trip completely unprofitable. This is what I ultimately devised. Obviously, I have to remove the light before I get anything operating. But we have the mob spawn in here. They will be whisked down to there, down to that channel down there. And you could see that they'll be dumped into that hole at the end over there which is right here. This will then push them up up here through the soul sand thing thanks to that little trip to the nether and they'll pop them up here and then eventually they will hit here. I don't want to fall into that thing because that is going to give them a drop all the way down to that hopper down there. I better make sure that they don't get out of that. So they get into down there into the hopper and then when they go down into the hopper they should be, if I did my calculations right, down to one hit point. And then all I have to do is smack them with a sword and they should die. I mean, I calculated that right. I went down the wrong stairs, didn't I? No, they were the right stairs. Let's light this place up. Now, this place where I'm accessing this is happens to be right next to one of those spider spawners that we found earlier. I have finished up the mob farm, though I think there are one or two spots that are still not quite fully efficient. I seem to be getting zombies and skeletons dropping here. And I've just spent half an hour here. Let's see what I got. I managed to get five bows, none of them enchanted. I think I might have gotten one or two extra bows also that fell into my inventory instead. 
we've got a stack and a half, actually almost two stacks worth of bones, almost two stacks of arrows, 35 zombie flesh. So obviously, I'm not doing as well with the zombies as I'm doing with the skeletons. I think that's our main inefficiency on this farm, is that the zombie side seems not be pulling them through properly for whatever reason. Not sure what's going on in here. But obviously there are skeletons down there. And mobs are spawning and of course mobs are dropping in here. But I suspect that I probably need the skeleton stuff more than the zombie stuff so I might not spend too much trouble trying to tweak it or whatever. It's a mob farm, and I got up to, well, 32, level 32. That means I can do some serious enchanting. There turned out to be a really bad flaw in this system in that some of the mobs escaped. That explains why I didn't get the numbers that I was expecting, and that also explains why my... XP is suddenly much lower because I ran into a huge mob of opponents and it was not pretty as a result of that. So now, let's first off look at this. We have this, I thought that this will send the mobs down to here and that Yes, they do go into the system. So I want to find out what went wrong here. Maybe the fact that there's no water pushing down this way, most likely. Yeah. And so probably have to squeeze into there. Okay, that's probably one of the problems that we have. Now this pushed up here, right? And looks like I had thought that I was able to push it. I might need a piston or something like that to push them into there because they're not they're not easily being pushed into that area either. Ooh! If they're bumping all into each other, they're probably all running into each other onto this thing. I can understand why a lot of them got escaped. Ooh! Yes, I just quickly patched that up and didn't properly close it out. Well, I'm going to have to take care of that. I had another half hour session here. Let's see what we got this time. We seem to have two stacks of arrows, almost two stacks of bones, 47 zombie flesh, several bows, a potato, some leather pants, and one iron ingot. That seems to be reasonable. And I am once again up to level 30. So I have my levels back. So now, I need to go and check to see if there's a mob of zombies up there ready to attack me, or if I managed to plug up the hole properly. Obviously not perfectly fixed. So I'm still having things not quite right. So it doesn't look as bad as it was last time. But obviously, it still leaves a bit to be desired. Oh, I see the problem. <laughs> oh, of course. The hole down which they drop goes right through here. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh oops, that that I just well, I got that one wrong. There we go. Now let's fix this. Yes, now that was the security breach that we had and that's why so many mobs were coming in all over the place. 
And now that that's settled, I should now have a properly secured mob farm. Now, with that finally done, we can finally get around to enchanting this pickaxe, even though I've worn it up quite a bit. Let's see if I have anything useful for the remaining life that I have with it. Let's see what we have here. We have efficiency 4. Always nice to have in a diamond pickaxe. Unfortunately, it did not have any other enchantments on it. Ah, <sighs> well, I suppose that's going to be pretty common. On top of that, you also have a bow. Now, unfortunately, I do not have... 30 anymore. Infinity. Hmm. I think I want to wait before enchanting that until I have 30 levels. Then I will take that infinity enchantment and use that. But that's it for today's episode. We didn't get much exploration done. We head into the nether briefly, but our main thing that we did was to build a mob farm, which I think is, well, maybe not perfect, but I think it's going to be reasonably successful now that we patched up that gaping hole that we left in it. And we managed to do our first enchantment. So I think that's enough for one episode. And next time... I think next time I am going to go and search for a trail route so that we could actually have some exhibits for this museum. I'm going to get around to actually building some walls. When we return to Piney Plays Minecraft Museum of Pinetopia.